Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison, if you're new. I'm 22 and I do a lot of vlogs, lifestyle, and a little bit of health and wellness here on my channel. I would love for you to subscribe and check out my other videos. But today I'm vlogging as you probably already saw. I am going to the crystal store and I think we're going to stop by the mall with my mom, my brother, and Michael. So yeah, that's what's going on. I may go to yoga if I get home in time. I just ran some really quick curls through my hair. Like it's not tight at all, but I just wanted a little wave. Uh, this dress I will show you guys. This t-shirt dress is from Zawful. I had it in my Zawful summer haul. I will link it somewhere, probably up here for you guys to check it out. And there's a link in that description, but I will link this in my description as well if you guys want it. But it says from directly from the moon. I have like these little biker shorts on. They're not like super long biker shorts, but that's what I have. And I honestly, I might just wear like my Nike flip flops because they're comfortable. The crystal store I'm going has bulk items, but they're also some pretty cheaper, like bigger pieces. Like Michael wants to get uh, a bigger piece for his work. And I want to get some bulk items for my candles I'm making. This, um, all my ring, like my new rings I'm wearing, I'm stacking my promise ring and my rose quartz ring I just got. And this black banded agate. I always say that weird. But um, this one, I love the meaning of it. I said it, I think, in my last video that I posted, me getting my hair done and buying crystals for childbirth for my hairdresser. If you guys want to check that out I'll link it up here somewhere I think that's all for right now but I'm gonna get ready to go and take you guys with me A pajama bob. Pajama bob. No. <laughs> this Me a big crystal. Big, big crystal. Hmm? Huge. It's 
very pretty. I kind of want to take a picture of it. Okay. You got a sewn t-shirt that says pandemic summer. Better luck next year. Nice. That's cool. Whip shades and paint fade. I like it. Gonna show him your cup you got. Got for grandma. Mm hmm. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Hey everyone, so I'm finally back home. It's been a long day. I'm ready to take these lashes off, get in something a little bit more cozier, and just relax. Um, so I feel like I've been shopping a lot in my videos. I feel like a lot of my videos have been hauls, and I apologize. I think it's just a sign that I need to stop buying so much um, because I don't want all my videos to just be hauls. The big thing I need to get today was crystals for my candles that I am making. I haven't talked about that a whole lot on this channel. I do have a candle haul vlog that I will link somewhere, but um, yeah, I've been trying to make candles. It's been a process now. I've invested a lot of money, um, but slowly but surely it's coming along i'm like this close to showing you guys like the final results i want to apologize my makeup's a little wonky right now my eyelash is coming up and my mask always takes my makeup off I'm trying to redecorate my room um so i feel like i should probably declutter the whole thing before i start buying stuff but you know that's not how i roll so so these are made in Brazil, but I've been wanting one of these for a while now. I was going to get a carnelian one to match my room color, but I kind of wanted, I wanted to do something a little different because like I have a lot of white accents in my room. So I got how light. Um, I don't know what's at the bottom here. Usually it's amethyst, but... I'm not sure what this one is and I might get a bigger one but I don't know where I want to put the bigger one I definitely am trying to redecorate the shelves so you guys see in the background most of the time um, but yeah I just I like the white accents I thought maybe orange would be too much with my room so happy about that okay so since I started on the crystals I'm gonna continue with the crystals this bag these these bags are heavy as I was so sore when I ended up giving the lady uh, all my stuff. So this is Snowflake Obsidian. And there's a lot in here. So like obviously I can keep one for myself. I don't actually think I have this. But it's this really pretty black and like gray crystal. It draws out negativity from like the air and it's a good protection stone. I'm not going to go into huge detail with every single one I show you. But there's just so many different things that each crystal does. And some people, you know, say one thing and then there's others that say differently. So this is Tiger Eye and it's just little rock chips. It's good for grounding. It's a solar plexus one, so it's good for like, you know, self-empowerment. And I've also heard that it's like a lucky stone too. I also got these crackled red quartz chips and they're pink. Um, I'm going to mix them in with rose quartz, I think. I actually don't know what red quartz do. I'm going to have to look that up. They are really pretty and there was bigger ones. So I'm going to have to look that up. When I looked up red quartz, it came up more like a red. It's a bracelet that kind of looked like this. But I think that this is clear quartz dyed pink. So the main thing I know about clear quartz is that it's really good for like purifying the room. And it helps like strengthen the other crystal that it's surrounded by. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's actually red quartz. Um, I honestly just got it for the color because I have like a pink candle that I think it would look really cool in. So um, yeah, that 
I don't think was accurate. Then I got Garnet Tumbled Chips, which this definitely looks like Garnet. Um, Garnet is like a really grounding stone, but it also can be for other chakras as well. Um, I asked, I also heard this is good for like the heart chakra. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm not going into full detail on all of these. Garnet helps with emotional disharmony as well. Black obsidian, which is also, you know, a protection stone. It's almost, it's pretty identical to the snowflake obsidian. So I'm going to mix those in with that one. Then I got carnelian chips, which is your sacral chakra and it helps with creativity, fertility, um, you know, birthing new ideas, all that good stuff. This one's heavy. Oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I got this. So I got this really cool um, smoky quartz. I just, I love ones that are like bigger than like the little stones and pebbles because I feel like those ones kind of get, I don't know, lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? Like these ones are more statement pieces and I really love this. Smoky quartz is like a protection stone as well. Wards off negativity. I love smoky quartz and I just, I love this. I, I forgot what I got guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this stone is adventuring. This stone is also really good for creativity, um, but it is a heart chakra stone. It helps, you know, with healing and opening up your heart chakra and, you know, bringing loving vibes in. I was gonna do emerald, but emerald is an expensive stone. Emerald can be expensive, especially if you're buying it in bulk. So I didn't want to like do that. And you know, like I don't wanna have to like charge a lot for my candles but you know some of this some of the crystals get expensive so it's like you know do i price all my candles differently you know i don't know we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to figure that out but so then i have carnelian which is the same as this um so it's all same meanings bigger stones i didn't need these okay i really didn't but um I got a pair of earrings. I've just never seen them there before and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I have my stone rings on that I had in my last video, um, getting my hair done and buying crystals. <laughs> I feel like I'm always buying crystals. If you like crystals, uh, thumbs up this video, but I will link that video here too where I bought these rings. I didn't need more rings, but uh, I got this amethyst ring and I'm just pumped about it because it's like a legit crystal. Oh, that's so cool. Come on, focus. That is just so cool. I love those. And I feel like they're easy. I could probably fit this on my thumb. Oh my gosh. That's freaking cool. I love, I love rings that I can fit on my thumb. So I'm actually obsessed with this and they had so many but i like i found it kind of towards when i was checking out and i'm like <sighs> yeah let's go <laughs> that one's amethyst i'm assuming that this one is obsidian i'm assuming maybe maybe black tourmaline i don't know but i'm assuming they're protection uh stones but it is earrings they're earrings so cute i'm almost done i promise <laughs> so i got I got red jasper for the root chakra and I love red jasper. So red jasper is also grounding and it's soothing, but it also helps with like your energy. So I just really like red jasper. Um, I have a red jasper bracelet I got in Sedona. I'll link that vlog somewhere too. Um, but Sedona is so cool guys. If you guys ever get the chance, go to Sedona. Sedona is so pretty. The hikes are so so pretty um but that red jasper is like more of like a red red that's like true red jasper so i'm gonna mix that in with the garnet i think um yeah i'm gonna mix the garnet and red jasper together i was gonna get bigger garnet but garnet is more of a smaller stone and it's more expensive so <laughs> i really like red jasper so i was just like oh that works. The last thing I got from the crystal store is bigger tiger's eye. So I officially have all of my chakras. So obviously you guys can probably guess what I'm doing with my candles, but um, 
yeah i am really excited to finally share this stuff with you guys once i get my other stuff in the mail and get the ball rolling but this is all of my stuff right now sorry i keep going out of focus but i will show you quickly what i got from the other stores i honestly wish i would have went to walmart and looked first but i was like there's a bookstore there's not a lot of bookstores around here where i live so when i i don't usually go to the bookstore and i know the bookstore is usually more expensive and this was a little pricey for a book but you know i had to get it you know i had to get it i'm so excited um so i actually i didn't read the last book that came out but i bought it i bought the um what was it called i think it was afterlife or something for some reason i had thought that that was midnight sun like i thought she wasn't just i thought she wasn't coming out with midnight sun and i thought that was like her other twist of midnight sun I honestly, when I bought that one, I was like, oh, it's gonna be an Edward's perspective. Um, but then I, but then I heard that it was just like the girl being the vampire. So I was like, yeah. So I just never read it. But this, this I have to read. Like I have to. Um, <laughs> if you guys don't know, I am a huge Twilight fan. It's suppressed now, but when I was, I don't know, 12, 11, 10, it was hardcore. If you guys aren't new to my channel, you already know that I have an Edward cutout right here. I don't know, I think it was for my 12th birthday or something. It's forever going to stay there. My door has old things that says like Edward plus Madison and stuff on it. I used to say my name was Madison Cullen. Like that's how I would sign birthday cards. <laughs> like this is real. Like I was super, super dedicated. I loved, I loved it. Like I still love it, but you know, gotta grow up a little bit. In my declutter video, you will see that <laughs> there's a picture that I found on my old laptop of me kissing a poster of Taylor Lautner. So it's real, the love's real. Um, so you guys already know I had I had to get this. Um, I remember reading this way back when on my little Acer laptop um, on like Stephanie Meyer website reading it i'm pretty sure it was on her website but reading the little portion of it and i loved it so i was just it's crazy you know all these years later here i am buying the book um ah, it just makes me feel like a kid again like i i just feel like this inner child of mine i really want to get the comic books i used to borrow there was one it was just like the first half of the twilight one in our library at school and middle school and i used to check it out all the time and just read it because like that was my life you know you know when edward says you are my life now like that's that was my life so this bed was inspired by bella's bed i probably have mentioned that in my declutter video that you guys will see but like that's why i just have sentimental value and i can't get rid of it this room was going to be red at some point so glad i didn't do that though um but i'm so excited if you guys didn't know it is twilight and edward's perspective so i'm gonna i'm probably gonna start this tonight i can't sleep i remembered answering her question more fully she was silent for a moment at all she asked never i breathe <sighs> oh my god i just got chills like okay enough of that i'm so sorry i returned a bra from victoria's secret um and okay so i don't really shop at buckle i think i said this in my summer haul video michael shops there because they have these sell-in shirts that are made by or designed by tattoo artists so he kind of got me onto those and I actually have one. I don't know if I showed you guys. It might have been on a TikTok haul I had, so go follow me there. But um, yeah, so I got a shirt and I went in to actually get this shirt that he has. And I almost bought two, but they are $30. And I was like, 
I don't need to buy $60 worth of shirts right now. It's not necessary. I still need to like declutter my closet. So I got this one. I was debating between two. I actually kind of wish I would have got the other one. <sighs> but honestly, we got this a while back and it was still there and they had one size and he actually has it, which I was like, I could have just wore yours. Like whatever but like i don't want to steal his clothes um because he loves his sullen shirts so he got two and as you guys saw and then i got this one which you guys he was wearing this shirt in my last video where i was showing him my crystals but i love the roses um and yeah this is the back of it and it says protect what you love and I really like this. I was debating between like this color of this professional primer. Um, but I liked it. But this color just like looks good on me, I think. Like it's just one of my favorite colors to wear. So I got this. If you guys aren't familiar with these shirts, they're really soft. I don't like going into buckle because it's so expensive. Um, but, you know, they are soft. And I honestly probably could get a large just because I like my shirts a little bit bigger. But mediums do fit me. Um, they're men's sizes. They do have girls, just not in store, I don't think. Um, but I like the men t-shirts better. I probably won't do much more in this video, but I will update you guys later. At least tell you goodbye. But. Hey guys, so um, I'm heading to bed. I didn't really do much. I fixed my calendar. I know I'm really late and behind on that, but I finally got it filled out. Um, to be completely honest, I almost had a panic attack. I felt it coming on. I tried to breathe deeply and I got myself to pull out of it but um yeah we know how great that is you know you feel like something's physically wrong like you can't breathe uh you know those aren't fun yeah i'm sorry to be like all serious right now panic attacks can happen whatever no matter what type of day you're having so but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you guys want to see next and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.